Okay, today our viewer question uh, is, is it possible to eat only locally grown produce and still receive proper nutrition? Oh my. In theory, the answer should be absolutely, but of course, it depends on where you're living. If you're uh, up in Barrow, Alaska, in the middle of winter, locally grown produce is pretty hard to come by. Uh, but if you're living in uh, southern Florida, Louisiana, where it's nice and, and warm, uh, lots of things grow there. And of course, it depends how the local people have been treating the soil, whether you live in the middle of a city or you don't. It all depends. Uh, you know, where you're really located. But I get the spirit of the question. And, and it's true, we want to reduce our carbon footprint and to fly strawberries in all the way from southern Chile uh, to Detroit. Uh, that burns a lot of jet fuel and certainly doesn't help our uh, global warming situation. So eating locally is a good thing. Well, what do you really need? Uh, well, everyone's going to be bringing their grain products in. I don't know too many folks uh, who have uh, corn and oats and, and soybeans growing right near you, although if you're in Illinois, I suppose you can. But, uh, but even then, let's be realistic, uh, all of the, the vast, vast fields of corn and soybeans in Illinois and Minnesota and Iowa Though that is not destined for people, you can't even eat that. That is not human grade corn. That is tough, dry old feed corn destined for down the gullets of cows and pigs um, and chickens. Uh, this, is, this is animal fodder. Same thing with the soy means, not destined for tofu. Uh, but, uh, you know, and theoretically you grow them there. But uh, even in the Midwest, uh, everybody's going to be bring in their organic grains if you can, or you know the cleanest, uh, least sprayed grain products and legume products that you can. And then it's a matter of where you're going to get your produce, those lovely green and yellow vegetables and the fruits that really add the vitality uh, to your diet. Uh, get them grown as locally as you can. It's wonderful to support uh, community-supported agriculture. Remember those words, CSA, those initials. Uh, and look it up um, and do a search on a CSA near you. Here's where a bunch of people in a community get together and they approach a farmer who's growing fruits and vegetables and you pre-buy, it's a subscription service, um, that you pre-buy the farmer's crops. And every week or every 10 days, a big box of veggies shows up on your back porch or you go to a local store and pick them up. Uh, and you have a steady supply of uh, wholesome vegetables pretty much guaranteed. Plus, you're supporting this uh, local person who's connected to the earth and drawing bounty from it uh, by her or his labors. Uh, and you take the anxiety out of their life. There, there, there's no question, uh, is someone going to buy my vegetables? It's already bought and paid for. It, uh, everybody wins uh, in this uh, situation. So look for a CSA near you. Um, one of the beautiful things about being plant-based is because the staples are cheap, corn and beans and, and rice and lentils. You buy them by the 20 pound bag for a few dollars. The, the staples that supply energy and protein, they're cheap. Just a matter where you're gonna get your produce. Uh, get it as locally as you can, as organic as you can uh, and vary with the seasons. Uh, you're gonna kind of have to. And you do the best you can. These are not natural lives we're living. Uh, everything involves the burning of gasoline and, uh, and uh, dependent upon strangers and sanitary practices that you have no control over. Everybody's doing the best they can. If you can, grow your own food. Uh, it's a great time to uh, turn over a, a small plot in the backyard, put in some uh, elevated beds. You can get a stunning amount of green and yellow vegetables out of a couple of raised bed garden boxes and uh, even growing herbs on your windowsill. It's great to be connected with nature. So you do the best you can. Long answer to the question, you know, can you nourish yourself uh, on local produce? If, you, if you've got yellow vegetables supplying carotenes, carrots, squash, and sweet potatoes, uh, and you've got green vegetables, kale, char, Brussels sprouts, bok choy, asparagus, spinach, et cetera. If you've got those in your diet on a regular basis, along with those staples, uh, yes, you can certainly 
uh, support yourself nutritionally on locally grown foods. Do the best you can, uh, eat veggies as unprocessed as possible and, uh, and enjoy every day. The fact that food grows out of the ground, it's a miracle, uh, enjoy it. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Andy Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.